This is my birthday gift to myself <laughs> for this year. So I hardly spend anything on myself anyway. So <laughs> I'm low maintenance woman. So anyway, the only high maintenance part of me is buying succulents. But is it actually high maintenance? It's productive because I get to do a plant haul video. Hello there, my name is Liz. A self-confessed succulent addict, welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This one is from Nora Garden 89. I've got a few beautiful succulents again, courtesy of Nora Garden. She is my favorite plant seller on Facebook and we'll start unboxing and find out what beauties we've got this time. Hang on, should I open the gift first? Because that one it says gift. Thank you. <laughs> this is a Chevalier Magic Red. That's the first one that we opened up. It's a beautiful plant. Now I'm going to get to grow this and compare it with my PVN to see if there's actually a magic red. And then I have to redo a video saying there is a magic red after all. So we'll get to see. So I need to compare this with the PVNs that I've got to see if it's actually the same plant or a different plant. Now the next one I open up, this is like really soft and fluffy like a nice little teddy bear very huggable and nice and hairy this is Kalankoi Areophilia Snow White Panda beautiful beautiful plant so I had one like this before and it died on me and because I neglected it and then now so I'm getting another one as a replacement for that one now the next one is I swore I won't buy any succulents for a while and when I saw this one I just can't help myself because it's a monstrous anything that's monstrous variegated I'm in and plus it's a cluster so I can't help myself it is so gorgeous look at that beautiful 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 monstrosity gorgeous it's almost like variegated as well that one there so anyway see look variegated monstrous maybe so that's why I can't help myself now next one she actually has a lot of new plants lately. Oh, this one, I already got a Crispate Beauty, but I need a backup. So I thought, I'm going to get Crispate Beauty again. This one's only small, so I'm going to grow this time. And there's actually two heads or something with this one, which is... Yes! Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? Okay, look at that. So, I bought two of them. So... Now they're only small but they will grow and hopefully they will grow big like my other beautiful crispate beauty. Bing Ling, oh my goodness, I love this plant. I really, really love this plant. Anyway, Bing Ling, you can go with the other one there. And this one has got nice little cute flicky leaves and look at that. Oh, oh, very Bing Ling. Look at the tips. Isn't that gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. It's green and red, so it's very Christmas color. But those flick is like fire, so Bing Ling. Very Chinese, Bing Ling. Okay, this is now my third Rognoni eye variegated because I bought a tiny one. And then a couple of days ago, I went and got, well, I saw another one for a good price. So I couldn't help myself, so I went and bought one. And now this is the third one. And you ready? Ta-da! Look how beautiful that is. Echeveria Rognonia variegated. I can't help myself. You are just so pretty. Beautiful. Gorgeous girl. Oh, guess what? I saw another GIF. <laughs> it says GIF. Now this one is a Chevria Bini Jesaru. I think I'm more excited about the gifts. If you are a good customer, of course, she's going to give you non-stop gifts. Oh, this one is gorgeous. Bini Jesaru. Gorgeous Jesaru. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the color. Oh my goodness. And it's a nice cluster. Beautiful cluster. Look at that. Oh. 
That would look so good in a pretty, pretty pot. Thank you, Nora. Nora Garden 89. Check her out on Facebook. <laughs> the name alone. Pudding cream. It's like pudding. I like my pudding. Pudding, pudding. What does pudding look like? Pudding looks like a nice little cute pudding. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Three-headed. A small three-headed one, but it will grow big. So by in six months time, well, actually, we're coming into autumn and also winter and then spring. So this one is going to take a while to grow. So we won't see the growth spurt, not until October. If we get a warm winter, if it's not too cold, then they might continue to grow. So who knows? Anyway, so I love the pudding. So you like the pudding? Would you like some more pudding? Cotyledon I feel a long form variegated. Me love you long form because I already got two of them. And I want to put it in one pretty pot as a cluster. And if I wait for those two to grow, I'm waiting a long time. I'm going to be an old woman, which I'm already, I am already am. So I might be already in a wheelchair or something later on before it grows on me. They're, they're quite slow growing. So uh, this one is also flowering. Look at that one. Oh, I love the plant. I just love this. So cotyledon. Ophila long form variegated. So anyway, and it's also the growing season right now. So which is the best time to get them because we're at the end of summer. We're going to have one week of temperature above 30s at the moment. And then after that until Wednesday. So today is already Thursday. So but anyway, so the temperatures is going to uh, be hot, hot, hot above 30s. And then it's going to start going down on 20s again so which means autumn by then it'll be almost autumn so this one is a three-headed Berkeley light so I don't have a Berkeley light yet so that's why I decided to get some Berkeley light now I've got a link now this is my second link now because the first links now I bought died and then it came back and then it died again so I went and bought actually yeah I did buy another one so this is actually the third but this one actually two heads sorry not two heads but two plants in one so that was actually a good price for that one so anyway her plants sort of vary it's not the same all the time so if you're expecting to get the same one this week it might be this lot the next week it might be something else and then the third the fourth week later on she might bring this all back again so it really just depends on the growth how much she's got whether they're available or not but anyway she's got very good price and her plants are very healthy I'm trying to recall uh, of all the plants that I so many plants I bought from her but if the plant dies as well she would refund your money so which is a really good guarantee so that what that's why I'm encouraged all the time to buy plants from her because I know if the plants dies within like say a month or two then if you say to her Nora can I, this such and such died she just gives you credit anyway so this one is color ray and then I think I got two of them because they were like a bargain. So they, they are like clearance price. So I have one color ray. So I'm getting another one. And I thought I have another one, but never mind. So this chapote about two months ago. So that was, what is it now? February. So it was December, actually December. I almost bought one for $50. And it's a good thing I waited because... The ones that was being sold at that time was all nice and colorful and I thought, oh, should I buy it? But anyway, because it's really colorful and nice and red and whatever, but it's only one plant for $50. So it's a good thing I waited because now I got three heads. Look, there's a baby, a baby and two babies now. So anyway, oh, this, I, told, I knew it. There's another baby hiding. Oh my goodness. So if I wish for another baby, would it show up on the other side? Let's see. I don't think so. No, no. So it's only one, two, three, really so tiny one. So that's still a good price. Oh, now a leaf has fallen off. So I'm going to get another baby. So it's like my birthday wishes is coming true. So anyway, I'll put you here. Now we continue with my shenanigans. Now this one now, I am going to, the reason why 
I went there is because I saw the Polylinsiana monstrose. And there's another one that I put, uh, sold, I was going to buy, but someone beat me to it. But anyway, and then I saw the Longissima bumps. I've been looking at this one for a long time now, and I just sort of arming and arming whether I should get it. And finally, after I got that one, and then another one, which I put sold, but as it turned out, that was actually sold to someone else. I didn't get that one. And she doesn't have a spare, I think, for that one. So I thought to myself, oh, well, okay, I might as well get this longissima bumps because I do love my bumps. Now, okay, let's, I have the gilo bump, but I haven't got a longissima bump. And it is so pretty. So after being frustrated with the Echeveria raindrops, I thought I might as well get some proper bumps. Bumpity bump bump bump. Look at that beautiful bump, isn't it? Gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, this one I love. I love. <laughs> Who's it made? <laughs> the first time I saw this plant, Noakes Champagne. I thought to myself, should I get it? Should I not? And it was so expensive. And I thought to myself, I'm not going to tell you how much it was, but I got it for a really good price. Well, that's what Nora is selling it for. So I thought, yes, this time I'm going to get it. And as it turned out, you're not going to believe this. Look at that beautiful. Are you ready? No. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, it's making my heart like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love, 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 love this plant. Look at that. Gorgeous. This one deserves a very, very pretty pot. So I wonder if I've got some pretty pots left. Anyway, gorgeous plant. So no champagne. So highly recommended. If you haven't got one, what are you waiting for? So now next one, Graptoveria worthy one. Are you worthy or not? We are going to find out. I just had some potato cooked in onion for midnight snack with some ham. <laughs> I'm so bad. And some salted caramel drink. Yes, she is very worthy. Hello, worthy one. Okay, so a beautiful plant. I actually have a monstrous form of this, which is just very spiky. So this one is nice and rounded and beautiful. So when they go monstrous, apparently they just go crazy. So, but anyway, so I got worthy one. I got two. So, which is Excellentia. Now, next one. I had a peony before. It was only puny. <laughs> My peony. <laughs> and it was only small. And I bought it, of course, I think earlier on. I can't remember exactly. Was it February or March or something like that? Or April or May. But anyway, long story short, it died on me. So, this time, again, I've got a whole heap of plants now that can only survive up to minus four so I need to protect them so this one is quite a big plant so I thought I might as well get it get a big one saves me trying to grow it and it is so beautiful oh my goodness it is beautiful plant look at that it's already big see gorgeous gorgeous and it's got a baby I like it when they have babies so back up so nice and big, the one I got before was a bit small, so it did not handle the frost well. So now, next one. This is looking like a very beautiful, beautiful collection. Now I'm going to move my chapote over here so I can have more space because I'm running out of space. This one is another wish list plant. It is just so beautiful. Well, at least I think it is. Yes! <gasps> Bacchiveria Yunji! Yunji san! Hi! Beautiful! Look at that! Oh! Look at those tips! Look at those claws! You're such a snob, aren't you? Look at that! It's like, excuse me, my dear, I'm just coming this way! Yunji! <laughs> So, okay, we're going to put you next to, uh, I'm running out of space again. So, there's a lot of plants in here. Anyway, now, what do we have here? 
Oh, blue dragon. <gasps> I have one blue dragon and I think I got a red dragon, a white dragon. And the blue dragon, I grew it, I put it somewhere with a lot and I can't find it with the, I mixed up with the other ones. So I have to go through all the containers with all the mixed planted ones. And this time I got this blue dragon. I'm going to have to put it in its own pot. Look at it. So nice and big. Look at those nice little claws. Aren't they beautiful plants? They don't look real, aren't they? They're like plastic. So anyway, but this one is very sturdy. Like a lot of the plants, this one's as well, they're not flimsy plants except for the variegated, of course. They can be a little bit delicate if they're grown in the wrong area or wrong soil or whatever, but because they're already deprived of nutrients to start with so if you just don't give them enough loving they might die on you I have small dark ice but I haven't got a big dark ice so I decided this time I'm gonna get more dark ice I'm gonna get darker on you but anyway quite a big plant so and it's a calaster calaster double head look beautiful so I got two of them so look at that gorgeous aren't they they look like dark ice, aptly named. It suits it very well. It's a beautiful plant, so I can actually put them all, even with the small ones that I've got now, I can join them all up, and it's gonna look like one big plant. Uh, so this is not the leafy ones now, little rosette ones. I'm verging into the fancy. This is so cute. So I like <laughs> miniatured ones. It's tiny because agave normally quite big plants. So now this one I thought, oh, that is so cute. And look, it's like, honey, I shrunk the agaves. It's so cute. Oh, I could just squeeze here, but it's still, the tips are actually sort of spiky. Oh, that's going to hurt. Look at that. It's got claws. It bites. Look. Look at that, the tips. So dangerous okay but beautiful and lovely oh my goodness this one i got a black king kong do i make king kong sound no i don't know how to make king kong sound so anyway this is ionium king kong hey king kong now <sighs> beautiful it is a beautiful oh my goodness my hair is just stood up i saw the face and my hair stood up. It's like King Kong. Oh my God. So it's, see the back of my uh, neck at the back of my whatever. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps looking at it. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. I love you King Kong. I love my King Kong. Okay. King Kong. Black. Oh, that's a black King Kong. And actually, sorry, I've got a red King Kong. And that's a black King Kong. So now I've got two King Kongs. They can King and Kong each other. Now, <laughs> now this one is, ooh, lovely Q. I love my lovely Q. I've got a few lovely Q and I can never get enough of it because I haven't got a cluster. I really like to have a cluster in one pot because I think having just one plant it just looks so sad. It's like, put baby in the corner. No, we're not going to put baby in the corner. We're going to put babies in the limelight. So anyway, all of them together so they can be happy. So lovely Q, you are very lovely. I really love the shape of this plant. Now you're going to say this one looks very similar to the blue dragon. See the difference? So I have a friend who comes over here and she says to me, why are you growing the same plants? They all look the same to me. And I said, well, to me, they don't. They all look different. They're very distinct. Your opinion doesn't matter in this case because these are my plants. It's my collection. To me, if they look different, they are different. And if they look all the same to you, well, that's fine. I respect your opinion, but go away. <laughs> <laughs> so don't question why I'm growing all this the same plants because to me they are an individual they're all different and they have their little quirkiness that makes them different from each other white Halloween okay ah, ah, thank you Nora 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, you know why I love Nora Garden 89? Look at this. She gave me a white Halloween. It's the mother plant and look at all those babies now growing. Oh my goodness, so exciting. So now I'm gonna have a cluster of white Halloween. Variegated, isn't that beautiful, beautiful. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. So my pink witch better watch out because she's gonna have lots of competition. The next one is the red garnet variegated. I think, should I leave this for last? Because I can feel it's quite big. This one, oh, look at that. <gasps> I'm just gonna, <gasps> oh my goodness. She just went and chop, 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 took some babies out, and I got the mother. I got the mama, I got the mama, I got the mama. Red garnet, red garnet, so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm getting goosebumps again. Oh, <laughs> looks so beautiful. Okay, compare it with the other, what do you call this one? <laughs> King Kong. King Kong. See, King Kong is more darker. Look, green. So black King Kong. The center part or the central greens are much darker green tone. And this one, only tiny green in the center. So that's the difference. So again, my friend comes over again. She say, why did you buy all these plants? And they all look the same. No, they not. They look different from each other. See? There you go, look at that. Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. It's giving me tingles. Okay, now, <laughs> I got the tingle. I got the tingle, yeah, okay. <laughs> now, red garnet, now last, but not least. Oh my Lord, I'm gonna be busy. I'm gonna be busy, busy, busy. Now this one, Ionium yawning. And I am yawning because it's two o'clock. But still, I am still smiling instead of yawning because I'm opening a yawning. Yawning, yawning, a yawning, yawning. And this is big as well. Oh my goodness. I took all her mother plants. <gasps> oh my God, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh, Nora, 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 you are so generous. Okay. I paid for it, but still, she's still generous. <gasps> Look at this plant, isn't that beautiful? Because she took cuttings from these ones. And now, all these babies now, look at that growing. Look at that, it's amazing. And in, by next month, when you see this plant, it's not gonna be yanning anymore. It's gonna be yamongous because it's gonna grow with all these babies. Look at that, oh my goodness. Better be careful, I don't wanna get rid of the babies. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Nora. And I am so happy now I can go to sleep and dream of all my beautiful babies. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing because I did enjoy it very much. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video, I hope. Bye-bye for now. Good night, yawning. Mommy's already yawning, so I'm going to have to see you in the morning and plant you up. And I have to find a pretty, pretty pot to put all of your beauties in. Anyway, bye-bye. Good night, my loves. What do you mean, good night, my love? <laughs> you got another box to open. So in part two of my massive birthday plant haul, we are going to open box number two. I'll see you there.